Hi, this is Dave's workbench. Today's project is a backup bell. It has a backup bell sound. You can use it in whatever projects you have. A little miniature cars, a backup, tricycles, RVs, vans, whatever. So here's the sound. This is the, uh, it's remote. There's a uh, receiver. This is a transmitter. Runs off a 9 volt battery. So that's the uh, sound of it. Here's the uh, parts list. You can put it on uh, full screen if you can't see it. I'll leave it on the sc screen for a few moments here. Um, you can always stop stop the video and write it down. So this is where I get most of the... I wrote to most of the places you could find the parts. Um, if you have any trouble, you can. there's always uh, eBay and Google it. Anyhow, that's the part list. So here's the build, or the schematic for the build. It's probably better to, uh, when you're doing this, to get you a breadboard, a small one like this one. Put your chip right in the center. After you get the, uh, this is a receiver. Tell you a little about this receiver. It's a, over here is ground, and five volts is right here. So from your um, barrel jack, the power from the very end here, We'll go to plus here, second pin over, negative. These two pins here you can connect together, hook it to ground. D3 will be going to the make the sound main unit. Um, there's four different buttons on here. This one only has two, um, this transmitter only has two buttons, there's some with four, anyhow. So here's the bill. Here's the NE556N chip, which is just a, basically a, a 555 timer put into one package. So um, here's a little dentation here on the end of the chip. That's the top of the chip. Then you start, it helps you locate the pins. This would be pin one, two, three, and so forth, all the way down. And then when it gets down to pin seven, notice it jumps over to on the other side, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's 14 pins. So the best way to do this build is to as you can see, there's a red wire here. All the way across here, you can assume or take it as being uh, positive. And on this side, it's all negative. So when you, uh, that way you can just, this is a positive negative side. So we'll start here. Put a thousand ohm resistor from, from your positive side to pin one. From pin one to pin two, put a 22,000 ohm resistor. Pin three, connect a wire down here to a 103 ceramic capacitor, that's the number on it. And um, anyhow, there, you can put them either which way, doesn't matter which way you orient it. Connect it into ground. Four, to nine, just connect the wire. I connect it on the back side. Five goes to the uh, black wire, the Piezo buzzer, and the other the red wire goes to the uh, positive side of the buzzer. Goes to the positive side. Okay, that's at six. So from two to six, put a wire. 
connect the wire between these two pins. From 6 to ground, put a uh, 103 capac ceramic capacitor in again. 7, just to connect it to uh, ground here with the wire. Number 8, bring a wire out here and then connect uh, the wire to one side of the electrolytic capacitor. Now, this is electrolytic and the marked on one side is negative and this one is this is 100 microfarad this one over here that's a negative so make sure you the orientation of these are critical so uh, this is plus side this is negative side I mean this is plus side yeah anyhow and um, so from here this is a positive side from 8 to 12 connect the wire from uh, as you notice number 10 is not used so let's back up here number 11 come down and hook to another 103 ceramic capacitor to ground so we brought this wire from 8 to 12 and then from 12 to 13, connect a 100,000 ohm resistor. And then from for 13 to uh, positive side, or your supply, put a 100,000, it's a 1,000 ohm resistor. And uh, pin 14 goes to positive side. Then you put a 100,000 ohm microfarad capacitor in. Negative this side, positive connects to here. Okay, and then uh, this ground connects to a ground on your unit, your receiver here, and positive from your barrel jack, the end goes to this pin here. And then ground from those pins I told you in the barrel go, also comes over to ground here on the receiver. Now D3 is A pin or A button on this uh, transmitter so I have that connected to here. So that's the bell. Um, it's, it's pretty uh, loud. Um, you can get to larger buzzers make it even louder if you need to. That's the bill. Um, email if you need have questions or and rate it. Thank you.